I'm reviewing the Opti Women Optimum Nutrition Multivitamin. Is it good or is it bad? Hi everyone, I'm Evelyn and I'm back with another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. So today, we are reviewing Opti Women Multivitamin by Optimum Nutrition. I had so many high hopes for this product because I use a lot of Optimum Nutrition's products. Let me give you a little bit of background on this product. I bought this product from Vitamin Shop for about $17.99. I believe when I bought it, it was on sale. I tried it and the reason I tried it is because of, of course the Optimum Nutrition brand as well as the reviews I had read about it. It has glowing reviews and so I said, hey, why not try it? This has 60 capsules. It's a 30 day supply. I have about 20 capsules left. I only took these about 21 days or so. I didn't take them all up and there's a reason for that. I started noticing that I was having some night sweats. Although I'm in my late 40s and things like that may happen, I don't normally have that happen unless I take something like an herbal tea or some type of herb or something or some oil. I've taken black seed oil and it had me, you know, having night sweats. And after I stopped taking it, I wasn't sweating. So the same thing with this, I stopped taking it and I noticed that the things that were going on with me cleared up. It does take things a little while to get out of your system. During the same month that I was taking these, I took these in September. I took them until almost the end of September. When I got my cycle, I had some issues. I normally don't have any issues. My cycle is okay. I don't cramp. I don't have heavy cycles. I don't have any of that stuff going on normally. This product was giving me some issues. I went to Amazon I searched again because I wanted to see if there was anybody else who had an issue with their hormones after taking this product. It says that it's high potency, okay? Keep that in mind. I was looking at the negative reviews. These days, I don't look at positive reviews. I look at the negative reviews of a product. That's how I determine if I want to use it or not. Then I go and I look at the positive reviews. But I go to the negative because I just want to see what's bad. What are they saying? You know, sometimes people just say stuff and it doesn't really make any sense. I found someone who said that when they started taking this product, they started having night sweats and they said, I am not trying to rush into menopause. Okay. And they said, I'm going right back to GNC. And y'all know what? I went right back to GNC because that is the multivitamin that I take. That's the brand I take. What happened to me? I was at the end of my cycle and I woke up in the wee hours of the morning in severe pain, cramping like crazy. And I was like, man, this is not normal. What is going on? Why am I cramping like this? And this is something that doesn't normally happen. Eventually I got over it. I got, my stomach was killing me and I threw up. Once I threw up, I was okay. I was having sweats too. Like I was getting cold and hot. I'm like, what is going on? Hormonal imbalance, that's what was going on. If you look at the ingredient label on the back of these vitamins, you will notice something. You'll notice that there are herbs in this vitamin. Again, it says on the front, high potency. Let's see what type of herbs are in this vitamin. Don Quay, Shastberry, Garcinia Extract, Ova Ursia, Horse Chestnut Extract, alpha lipoic acid that's not really an herb that's not what i'm talking about but i'm just reading the ingredient list here butcher's broom powder osteovone grapeseed extract deodorized garlic citrus bioflavonoids soy isoflavones lycopene lupine alpha carotene cryptoxanin and zeaxanthin it has don quay in here it has chast berry and a few other stuff but it also has soy isoflavones, which I know don't agree with me. Okay. Don Quay and Chasberry are for women's female health. It kind of messes with the hormonal things. If you have issues with your menstrual cycle, then those herbs can help you in some kind of way. Just look it up. I'm not going to go into detail about it. 
but do know that it affects your hormones. I found someone on Amazon who had some issues and I said, well, I'm not crazy. You know, I'm not by myself. Well, my experience with this vitamin, it was a no-go for me and I went right back to my tried and true GNC active women. That's what I use. This was a no-go. I'm sorry, Optimum Nutrition. You know, I love your protein powders and your amino energy stuff, but this right here, mm-mm. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.